This video is going to show you how to insert links, images, and files into your Canvas course. So what you need to do is go to Edit. To insert a link, you may want to, for example, on your email address, type in the email address you would like to use. Sometimes it will come up automatically. If it does not, you can always come and click on the link button. This will be an external link, so then you can just copy it and paste it in, or type it in again, and click on the Done button. You will know that it is a link now because it is blue and underlined. You will also know because when you highlight it, you will see this Link Options or Remove Link button where you would be able to edit it if you choose to. You can also, maybe you want to put in the school's website. You can come to the school and copy their website and then bring it back to your page and paste it in. Again, you will highlight over the top of it, you will come to the link, say that it is an external link, and paste it in. When you say done, it will turn it into a hyperlink. In order to add images, you can come. So for example, I want to add another um, button right here, and this time I want my button to be a parent resources button. So what I can do is I can come to my images and I can say that I would like to upload an image. When I upload an image, notice it says that I can drag and drop or I can browse my computer. So from here, I can come. I'm going to browse my computer. I'm going to come to my desktop. I'm going to find my parent resources image and I'm going to click on the open button. From here, I can say what my alternate text is. This helps for accessibility if a screen reader needs to read past it. So I'm just going to put what it is, parent resources button. And now I am going to be able to submit that and my parent resources button, it comes in big, but I can always come in and resize it to the size that I want it to be. Once I've added that in, I can come and I can create a link for it. The way that I want to create a link this time is I want to link it to my parent resources page. So instead of coming up here to the link, I'm going to actually remove the link because I didn't know I had one, and come here to an external link, this time I want it to be a course link because I want it linked to somewhere else in my course. So I'm gonna click on course link here. I actually want it to go to a page. So I'm gonna say pages. I'm gonna come down until I find my parent resources, or I could also search parent, and notice it starts to pop up, auto-populate. And when I click on it, notice that turns yellow here, and that's telling me that I have added that link in. Once I've done that, I can click off of it, and then I can click my save button. When I click my save button, notice that my hyperlinks are there as well as my parent resources. When I click on my parent resources, it doesn't take me anywhere outside the course. It actually takes me to my parent resources page that I can build later. The last thing that I'm going to show you is how to add a file. Adding a file is simple. All you need to do is come back into edit mode. You're going to decide where you want that file to be housed. So for example, maybe I'm going to have my course expectations and norms file. So I can come and I can highlight that. And I'm going to say that I would like to add a file, which is this button right here. And I'm going to upload a document. When I upload a document, I could choose the document that I want and drag it in or I could also click and find it in my browser, much like I did my image. This time I'm gonna drag in a document and I'm going to say submit. Notice now 
it changes that um, class expectations and norms from into a hyperlink that actually is my file. So notice now there is a download button that they would actually be able to click and download that file if they want to.